これがライイフスタイル自分がこうやって生きてた方が楽しいと思ってるから私は捨てるだけで最初は衝撃的に一番今までで可愛い自分。Tokyo, Japan. This is a land known for order and discipline. But for every social custom and rule, there are those who seek to break them. I'm here to find Decora Girls. More than 10 years after this iconic fashion subculture began, a new generation is pushing the limits even further. This is a culture where there are school uniforms here, there are uniforms for work, pretty much uniforms for everything. Kat is a German decorer living and teaching English in Tokyo. How does this allow you to really express who you are? Decorer fashion is fun fashion. It's very against the, the mainstream of things. It's not in a magazine, it's not elegant, it's very much boom in your face. It can scare people a yeah. little bit. Some people just go, oh, that might be a weird person there. While decor might be a direct rebellion against Japan's strict uniform culture, these girls aren't outcast or loners. In fact, some of them are celebrities. With over half a million followers on social media, Kurobayashi is one of the most famous decor girls in the world right now. まあ、友達とか、待ち合わせる時とか、少しポイントとして、ここを使うことは。And Union is one of the rare decor boys with an equally fanatic following. I meet them at their favorite cafe, a self styling salon in the neighborhood of Harajuku. Why do people feel that they have to come here to get ready? They can't do it at home? Harajuku だったら、ここに来れば、みんなそういう子たちが集まっているから。共有することで楽しくここを使っているパターンなんですけど。可<笑>愛い,い。<笑> How long have you both been dressing Decora? About six or seven years.、Oh. So this is your favorite Decora store. Yes. <笑><笑>私はこの同じ。Kurobayashi and Union seem to embody this style completely. But what did Decora look like when it first began? Soshi Aoki is the founder of Fruits Magazine, the most respected publication in Japanese street fashion. He has been documenting Japanese street style for more than 20 years. The decor girls that I've seen have really pushed the amount of accessories they wear to the limit. The group in the middle of fashion, so it's a bit of a problem. Japanese culture values the group over the individual. It's the way social order is maintained. Decora may be breaking the mold, but maybe it's still within the framework of what is accepted. I'm hoping to get some perspective from a Decora girl who lives outside the city. そうですね、高校生の時に違うジャンルをやってて。ちょっとあまり差は触れてなかったんですよね。23-year-old Kanae lives in the suburbs of Tokyo with her husband, baby, and extended family. Tonight, we're going to meet her friends in Harajuku, 
and she wants to show me how a Jacora look comes together. <laughs> so, how long does it normally take you to get ready? Two hours? Two! Wow! <laughs> how do you decide the arrangement of all the hair clips? Was it a slow introduction into decor, or you just one morning decided I like this style and you did the whole thing? The look is complete. <laughs> of course, a little bit more. What do you think of Kanae dressed in Decora? <laughs> As we leave the grey suburbs behind, I see Kanae's demeanour begin to change. Decora isn't an elaborate costume, or even something to hide behind. It's just an outer expression of something inside that's just waiting to get out. I think it's the freedom of expression. You don't have to look every day the same. You wear the things you love the way you want to wear them. This is not a label. It's not someone else's thing. It's my thing. Harajuku no fashion movement ga okotta. Tabo sai shoku kara zutto ko tori tsuzukete mo 18 nen gurai. Ichiban kowai no wa mata simple na boom. Decor truly is a fearless fashion. A celebration of who you are. It's a reminder to let go of the rules and just wear what makes you feel good. Have fun with fashion. <laughs> <laughs>